Hi, I'm Amory, and I am here with the Amory's Book Club selection for the month of April, which is Rental Person Who Does Nothing by Shoji Morimoto. In this very focused memoir, Shoji Morimoto shares with us his experience as a self-created person, self-created rental person who does nothing. This basically begins when he's fired from his job because his bo boss essentially tells him that he has no purpose and he's just there and there's no reason that things wouldn't be different whether he were there or not. And this made him want to quit instead of just jumping into another job. He wanted to quit and really turn over what that really meant. And so he decided to create a position of being a rental person who does nothing. And by doing nothing, that means you're able to rent his time. You're able to rent him for a certain period of time. He will uh, be a companion. He will basically spend time with you. He will eat. He will drink. He will engage in a little conversation as long as, the, as long as the questions are not too deep. So he doesn't really answer any questions. He will chit chat, but he won't answer deep questions. Neither will he engage in really serious conversation. It turns out lots of people are very interested in hiring someone who's just there with them doing nothing. This ranges from people who want to be accompanied while they're drinking a drink in the park to someone who wants to wave goodbye at a, at a railroad station, to someone who just only wants him to think about them at a certain you know, appointed time, like a certain window. He just doesn't even have to be there in person. They just wanted him to think of me at this particular time and I'll know that you're thinking of, of me at this, you know, at this particular time and that will make me feel something. It's very interesting just how many people wanted to hire him to do nothing. Some people would say, you know, for instance, the railroad station. I could ask, you know, I'm leaving the city, I'm going to another city, but it would be too emotional to ask friends to come and wave to me at the train station. And then asking a complete stranger, it would just be really weird. So I'm gonna, you know, rent your time so you can come and wave to me and it can kind of like be like those movies, that kind of feeling. And for instance, someone wanted him to accompany them to a park to have a drink because they wanted to drink something but they felt like very they would be feeling very odd if they went alone and were just sitting sitting on a bench having a drink by themselves so having someone accompany them would make them feel better also he doesn't clean but someone did want to they did want to hire him so they could watch so he could watch them clean up because she'd been putting it off for a very very long time and things built up for literally months and months and months of not doing dishes she's basically become paralyzed and he didn't end up taking the job because he only takes jobs that he's really interested in. He's very busy. So he passed on that one, but the person did write him back later saying, you know, just by the act of me reaching out and saying, hey, I'd love for you to come and watch me clean up, somehow jump started whatever it was that was holding them back from cleaning their home. And that was enough. And it's just so interesting because it makes you think that there are so many people who are really lonely, socially anxious, they have a lot of social anxiety, how many people just want companionship but there are really interesting nuances as well because it's not just having someone to spend time with because these are people who do some of them who do have friends but somehow having a stranger accompany them on this part of their life journey is easier he did say that it was a lot easier for some people to talk to him as if speaking to a stranger was a lot easier than speaking to family and i think a lot of people can probably relate to that. You know, there are people who open up to a bag or the grocery store or someone that they will never meet. Because if, if there's someone that you'll never meet, no matter what you say, you never have to deal with the consequences of having shared a part of yourself, whether it's a secret or whether it's something inane. There's also something that happens when people are really comfortable and they're just forced to share a space, like why people really like to talk at barbershops or when they're getting their hair or their nails done. There's something that puts them at ease. And I think when people would rent a rental person who does nothing. Having that intimacy, that shared space with a complete stranger allowed them a certain freedom that they wouldn't have with anyone else. Kind of like a confessional, I think, but without, a confessional, not a reality TV show confessional, but confessional like, like how a person would go to a priest if one were Catholic. There's just this closed box, no one's gonna ever say anything. The priest would know who you, they can see you but you have the feeling that they can't see who you are even though they can't see who you are so it kind of creates this constructed an, an anonymity but with him it's very anonymous so this memoir really explores our connection what it is to be truly connected in an increasingly shrinking world 
What is real intimacy? With whom do we feel comfortable sharing ourselves? How connected are we to our friends and our family? Is there a certain comfort zone we have regarding not feeling connected enough to someone versus feeling much too connected where if we shared with them something, it would be much too emotional of a moment and so we would prefer to outsource that kind of moment to someone else. This is really, really fascinating. Um, this is a, a bestseller in Japan. Pick up the book today. We will be having a chat with the author, Shoji Morimoto, at the end of the month via a translator. Make sure you stay tuned. Keep up with the read. Hashtag read with Amory at Amory's Book Club. Oh, hashtag Amory's Book Club as well. On the Instagram, Amory's Book Club at Amory's Book Club. Also follow along on my personal Instagram at Amory. In the meantime, happy reading.